Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you another Battlefield 5 discussion video. Battlefield 5 could be easily set in the past, such as World War 1 or World War 2, or in the future, such as 2142 or 2143. So in this video, Laser Gaming, Sablasco, and I talk about how a futuristic or pal past Battlefield game would be. Uh, this is only about half of the discussion, so make sure to check out Laser and Sablasco for more of it, and uh, make sure to subscribe to all three of us for tons of Battlefield content. There has been much in the way of Battlefield news recently, so I apologize for the lack of Battlefield uploads, but around EA Play in June, I'll be making a lot more videos, and so stay tuned for those. Uh, so without further ado, I will let the video play. Once again, make sure to check out Laser and Sablasco, and I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the video. In terms of Battlefield 5, we have leaks that point both ways. Uh, like, we have, uh, like, our first hint was that Battlefield 5 would be set in World War I. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also gotten Battlefield Bad Company 3. We've also uh, gotten hints um, in our last video that it might be in the near future or in, like, around even 2142, 2143. So we really have no idea whether the game could be set all the way back in World War I or, like, hundreds of years, hundreds of years into the future. So... I guess in this video we'll be going over the advantages of having a battlefield in the past and having a battlefield in the future. And so yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, yeah, so the advantages of the past really are just that it gets... Obviously it's what the majority of people want to start off. Um, when Jack Frags did a poll asking what um, setting we wanted to see 53% of the people vote for World War II, but obviously the past could also be Vietnam, the Korean War, or World War One. Mm -hmm. But I think what most people want from the past is that most games when they go to the future, they introduce a lot of things that manipulate the basic gunfights a lot. So like that includes boost jumps, lock on weapons, and stuff like that that sort of gets rid of the core gunplay that most people like. And I think people think that if we went back to a past setting, we would get back just that flat gunplay that most Simple. people, yeah, that brought most people into the franchise, whether it's either COD or Battlefield, um, because a lot of people got mad that COD keeps going into the future. But yeah, I think that's really one of the main advantages of the past. Well, looking at the poll from Jack Frags, it's not like it's a small difference of like a win here. It's like World War Two won by a bunch, like a whole lot. So, yep. I mean, like just just looking at it, we would if they wanted to play it safe, we would just see a modern warfare. But just seeing that with the Final Stand DLC would be like you know kind of like sci-fi twenty one forty three kind of style. It's either we're gonna see I think leading to a future or a near future kind of setting here to be with all the um, you know supposedly leaks coming out but I think that's my opinion that's going near the future or sci-fi but World War two is still an option just because of how popular the vote is yeah and you know 66,000 people voted in this so it's not like it's not like a few people really like I want World War two or Past, but like a lot of people, over fifty percent of sixty-six thousand voted for World War Two or or past, I guess. Well, I was looking at how many players were on like playing Battlefield today, and it's like a lot. It's like over a hundred thousand people, and that's like that's over half of the people right now playing Battlefield. So over half of the people playing Battlefield voted basically in this. Yeah, but another thing about the past is that. I, we obviously, I th believe, talked about this in... I at least talked about this in a video a while ago. I think it was in another discussion. But that the past, it'd be hard for them to bring in new players because it's hard for them to be flashy and show those kind of gameplay moments that like they would show in like a trailer to get people to come into the game. So, like for example, like a rendezvous or something like that. It'd be really hard to do do that in a World War II setting or try to emulate that, just like realism wise, I mean even though obviously Aronisuk isn't realistic in a modern setting, but like just f flashy things and like flashy gameplay moments are a lot harder to achieve in the past and I mean just for from EA's perspective of bringing in new players, 
I'm not sure if a lot of people would want to go back to the past, but on the other hand, I've heard a lot of people from COD, which is obviously Battlefield's main competitor, and they want to bring in a lot of Call of Duty players to Battlefield, say that if COD 2016 goes into the future and Battlefield goes to the past, they'd just switch over to Battlefield. So, I mean, there's advantages of both sides. I mean, obviously the community wants past, but to be completely honest, EA wants more money than anything, so... They've obviously looked into this a lot, but they're probably just going to make a decision based on what they think will bring in new or more new players rather than what the community actually wants. Okay, well, well, uh, yeah. well, I mean, first I wanted, to, yeah. I wanted to say, like, with the thing, like, them competing with Call of Duty and stuff, I mean, they might want to do a whole other thing with, like, if they're going in the past, that might just lead the whole vote for them getting, like, the most sales just because of how big of... You know how more negative um, future games are coming nowadays with Call of Duty, so they might want to try to attract the audience that wants to go back to that time period and try to get yeah. those sales and win the win the sale vote of uh, you know beating Call of Duty like how they always try to. Yeah. But uh, speaking of new fans, I think very few games have been set in the past recently, besides games like uh, I believe Days of War and Battalion. So they are going to be, uh, a past battlefield will be unique, especially if they tackle a war that hasn't really been brought into video games that much. Um, I don't know, maybe even the Cold War or something, even though that wasn't really a war war. But I think that being unique will help bring in some new players. And Battlefield Hardline, I think, brought in some new players. Yeah, it, it at least reinforced my interest in Battlefield. It's like kind of new and unique, and so it's. I tried it out and I enjoyed it, but uh, basically, by making it so unique, I have a feeling they'll they will bring in new fans, or if they just stick to something safe, kind of like maybe World War Two or something, then I think they then like. What am I trying to say here? I have a feeling that they're gonna try and keep it safe and bring in old, the old players that they lost in Battlefield Hardline, rather than go for something really flashy like Far in the Future or Far in the Past. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Once again, this is only about half of the discussion, so make sure to check out Laser and Tabasco in the description. Uh, once again, we upload a ton of Battlefield content, among other things, so make sure to subscribe to all three of us, and you'll never run out of Battlefield videos. So uh, thank you for watching, guys, and... Uh, Make sure to check out our past Battlefield discussions, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, and bye.